This is going to be a follow-up video to a wildly popular video I just put out about a week ago on the brand new Blue Eddy Pioneer NA, which is a sodium ion based power station. Supposed to be the first of its kind in the world for a portable power station to be using the technology of sodium ion. However, in that video, I have gotten a lot of feedback stating that they'll only believe it if they see it. And of course, that's what my channel is all about. So in today's video, we're going to open this up and we're going to verify that they are actually using sodium ion for the battery packs. Wait a minute. That don't look like salt to me. So the first thing that we want to do is turn the unit off. Next, we're going to take off these covers and I'm going to do that by using a putty knife. So I'm going to do it without damaging. If you use a flathead screwdriver, there is a big possibility that you'll damage the unit. So. There we go. Now that we have that disconnected, we take off the front panel. Wait a minute, that don't look like salt to me. Very interesting, but high quality. They even put relief crimps on the board as it comes down to make its connection. This one is for you guys, because once I do this, I will never be able to use this power station again. So I've got to separate basically the bus bars from the batteries, and they have all been looks like welded by a very small six point welder. So let's see if I can do this and not destroy it. That would be great, but don't think that's going to happen but I need to get into the cells and actually show you the cell itself. Rather than just going around the battery bank, I wanna verify as much as possible 
that those are sodium ion. But before I do that, let's verify that I can't do something from the bottom. So after taking the bottom off, everything's welded down there. Everything's welded at the top. It's connected into the board here, connected into the board at the top. There's no way to really separate it and then open it up without destroying it. So I'm going to have to destroy the power station to verify that this is sodium ion. I'm willing to do that. <laughs> and this is the world's first sodium ion portable power station battery pack. And I'm going to be the first person to destroy the world's first portable power station powered by a sodium ion battery pack. So let's do this. I'm just going to cut each one of those connection points. Oh, what's that one? Hold on. Look at that. <laughs> well, this is the BMS. I'll do a close up of this so you can get a better idea of what Blue Eddy uses on that as well. Those wires that I disconnected earlier are our temperature sensors. We'll verify those once we get this opened up. Now I just gotta figure out all of these connection welds that are at the top and separate these two pieces of black plastic. And I think ultimately I wanna try this it's just with some brute strength. So those welds don't look like they're very tough and that metal doesn't seem very tough as well. So I just don't want it to pop up in my face by doing a short somewhere. There's one disconnected. Two. And we got those disconnected. I'm just gonna use that method for the rest of them, for the top and bottom. And I also want to show you guys that this is tin plated copper. So if we cut this and we open it up, see the copper. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but we have copper and then it's tin coated. So that's a very high quality a piece of metal that's connecting these batteries together. They're not using cheap materials inside of these portable power stations, regardless what people are telling you. There's a reason why you pay a little bit extra for these premium brands. Bring you over here and show you the capacitors. These are red labeled capacitors. These are high quality capacitors that they're using inside of this. This is not cheap materials. This is the reason Blue Eddy is not your super budget brand but you're getting a high quality product but don't get me wrong i think the price of this portable power station because it is sodium ion should be a little bit lower and i think that will happen as we start to see more production in the sodium ion cells now that's still to be verified if this is actually sodium ion so let's continue <laughs> Y'all don't understand how much this excites me. So hopefully it does you the same way. There we go. And the configuration that Blue Eddy has went with this is a 30 volt, 30 amp hour battery. And the configuration is basically taking 10 cells and doing that by three to make the, uh, the configuration that they come up with. 30 volts is kind of strange when we start talking about inverters. So here's our inverter and everything that's on that. So I would be... Um, interested to see more on this because 30 amp is not your most efficient and i know this in my video uh was a very efficient portable power station so the algorithms that they've used to get the efficiency or the use out of those batteries 
at room temperature, of course, was excellent. So usually the higher the voltage, the better the efficiency. So I would be really interested to see if they can get this up to maybe a 60 volt system and then uh, design it around that and see what the efficiency would be. But that's just my train of thought. I do have some 60 volt batteries on tools that seem to be excellent. So this would be an easy configuration into that, just times this by two on a larger power system or a portable power system, and you have that. So anyway, we have 30 of these cells. These are rated at three volts, but when I put my multimeter on it, I was getting 3.68 or 3.86. Let me do that real quick. 3.85 volts. Let's confirm where those sensors are. It's on these two packs that's right in the middle. So let's tear that off. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So it's down like this. So now nothing attached, it's attached to the, to the green. No markings under the bottom of that so let's just put it in there like this now we've come to that time of the video to where it's going to be pretty difficult for me to actually verify a hundred percent whether these are sodium ion battery cells uh, these batteries have a model number for a manufacturer a code up here on top and then the stats about the battery itself the number that we got up here is 32140NSMP10. Everything after that is just telling us about the battery itself. It is 30 watt hours at 3.0 volts. The numbers that are below that are the battery number itself. So every one of those will have a different battery number, but the numbers that are at the top are exactly the same for every one of these batteries. So being able to verify this, I'm going to have to track down the manufacturer of this to see if they produce sodium ion batteries. And if they do, that's my verification that this is sodium ion. However, that may not be enough for some people. And I don't have the correct testing equipment to verify in a lab. If someone has a lab and that could verify this, that would like to partner or collaborate with me to do that, I would be willing uh, to support the battery or supply the battery and get that collaboration completed to verify 100% whether this is sodium ion. So I'm not going to doubt it. Blue Eddy offers a very high quality product. The, every part that they put in their portable power stations are of high quality. So they have a reputation of providing that to their customers. And I'm not going to doubt that. I would love to verify it in a lab. So if you have something like that, reach out to me at the solarpit.com. Go over to my contact, send it out. Hopefully I'll find you in the <laughs> all of my emails. I get bombarded a lot in that, but I will do my best to keep an eye out for you. So this is what we have. 30 cells, sodium ion. Let's track it down and see if we can find the uh, manufacturer of that.